get this eye drawer open. Okay, before we open this, I've got this because I'm going to do a bunch of tutorials about pen plotters, and I really only have the Axa Draw, and people keep asking about the eye drawer all the time. So I want to have a couple of machines so I can talk about this machine and the other machine and compare the two together. The aim of today is just to get it open, look what's in the box, get it set up. I might connect it to my laptop and see if we can get it to a plot. And then next week is to then compare it against the Axa Draw. Although, because of the type of plotter this is, this might not be a fair comparison. Anyway, let's cut this thing open and see what's inside. Okay, so the first reason why this might not be a fair comparison is this is a H plotter as opposed to the Exodor, which is a T plotter. That's basically because we have two runners, one on the left, one on the right, and then the carriage goes across the middle. We'll have a better look when we take it out. So let's take it out and uh, do all that. All right, the first thing I've noticed is no instructions. I'm sure there are instructions somewhere though. So we've got labels, in, X motor, Y motor. Let's take all the stuff off here. All right, so the first thing that I'm noticing before I've done anything else is there seems to be this wobble here. So all four feet aren't touching down at once. So I wonder how flat this is gonna be. Right, and the legs don't seem to be adjustable. All right, so we'll deal with that at some point. Let's have a look at what's in the box. A pen holder, a whole bunch of these cable ties that I'm probably not gonna use again. Well, maybe I will use them. And then in here, this should be power. Not sure if you can see this. Um, let me see if I can get a better view of that. In here is a stepper motor. This is different to the servo that's used in the Axa Draw. The stepper motor means it should be a little bit stronger on the downwards force. And you can do that because this is an H plot. And the advantage of having the rails on both sides is you can actually have more downwards force in the middle without affecting the tension everywhere quite so much. Let me get this wired up by looking at the instructions online. Although I've already looked at the instructions once and it's fairly easy. We've got X motor labeled in in and then there's Z motor. I think we should be quite good. Step one is to download the user's guide and the extensions for Inkscape, because this is in an Inkscape thing. Oh, wait, we have a video. I'll link the video down below. Why am I making this video when there's a video already showing you how to do it? I'll take the spacers out. These washers come off as well. And now we're all ready to put this on here. Put the spacers back on and then do all these up. Check it out. Okay, groovy. I go push the scooter a little. Next step, this cable here, we're gonna move this forwards. We got all this stuff to wire up. This is labeled X motor. I think there's only one way this can go in, which is the black to the left, black, green, red, blue. Black, green, red, blue. Just pop that in. Next up is this in. It says the word in on there. Black goes to this end, blue goes to this end. So just push that in. This one says Y2. Now, oh, right. Y1 is going to be down here. Y2 is going to be down here. That should be fairly straightforward. And they can only go in one way. So Y2 goes like that. Then Y1 goes like that. Okay, so I can now be pretty sure this one that says Z motor. Z motor, they both say Z motor. So this can only go in one way. So I'll pop it in there. And it now seems like we have everything connected. One last thing to do is this is the pen holder. But to tell the truth looks fairly close to the Axa Draw one. So there's these holes here. Uh, I'll show you in a second. That these attach to. And you've got these two holes just here and here. So there's two holes just here and here. So I'll just have a look to see which way around this goes and then we'll fit that. Put it in the middle hole and tighten it up. And then you adjust it to the angle that you need. Let's just go straight down for us. And then you just tighten the out of it until it's the right height. Next up, let's just move all these things out of the way for the moment. And I hate Max, 
I don't hate Macs, but obviously the USB is out on this left-hand side and it goes in on the left-hand side of the laptop. Why this Mac can't have USB things all over it, I don't know. It goes in that side. This goes in here. Power on. Right, I'm gonna take a moment now to install all the software. I don't normally use Inkscape, so using Inkscape will be something new for me. I hope it doesn't clash with the Axidraw. I saw a couple of Axidraw extensions in their download, so we'll see how that goes. I want to be able to run both at the same time. This is the H model. Generative Hut has a really good review of the other model, the iDraw version 3, which is the one that's very similar to an Axidraw. So if you're interested in that model, go read their review. I'll put the link down below and up on the right here, probably. They've got a code at the bottom of their review, Generative Hut, that will give you 15% off from the shop. I mean, I have my own code, which is RevDanCat. You can always use that. It applies to everything in the shop, so it doesn't matter which one you use. It's just who gets the kickback. Let me install the software and see if I I can get this running and we'll do a test plot, see what happens. Right, I think we're just gonna put it up here. Zero, zero. Let's grab, let's steal. Let's steal the magnets from the magnetic plate. Okay, these are from the Exadraw magnetic plate. This board's magnetic, so that's perfect. Let's do that. Right, I moved you around this way. We're going to do the traditional bit of tape just in the corner. Um, using the toggle command to move up and down. So let's stick this in so it's, let's put it into this position here. Now then, what happens if we toggle it down? Okay. Now we're going to check that the pen is above the height of the paper. Just about, I might have to adjust them. Um, might just have to adjust that height. Move this up. There we go. And the reason for moving it up to the next notch is I couldn't screw this, this bottom bit here with the pen. I needed a little bit more clearance. Let me try that. Let's toggle now. Let's plot and see how we get on. Shall we? Here we go. I guess that just confirms that it works. So there we go, an iDraw H plotter. What terrible backlighting. Okay, so what do I think? I think that was really straightforward to set up. I might have a little bit of trouble with the software. It's asking me to update some firmware that I don't particularly want to do because it's Axidraw related. But I've got a plotting without that anyway. The only thing I don't seem to be able to do is get it to automatically return to home. But that's it, that's an unboxing of that, fixing together. Didn't take that long, less than an hour to get it all up and running. And I will have had a chance to have played with it a little bit more since then, to give more of a verdict. And then I'll also put them side by side to compare the Axa Draw and this Eye Draw. Although it's a bit of an unfair comparison because again, my Axa Draws are a different style to this one but I think it might still be interesting anyway. If you have any questions about this that I can possibly answer for you, or any tests you want me to do, then let me know and I'll see if I can do them for the next video where I'm actually testing this out. Otherwise, I'll do another video afterwards. Well, let's watch this for a little bit longer. Yeah, that's probably enough of that. Okay, I'm gonna go now, edit this, and then upload it. I hope that was useful for you. I'll put any links and any details down below. Again, you can use my code or you can use Generative Hut's code. The tutorial on setting it all up on Generative Hut is actually really good, and the video telling you how to set this machine up, which I'll also link to on YouTube, are both really good. So you probably don't need my video because you just need those two. Anyway, I will see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>